Here is an overview of what you are going to watch. We write a Dynamo script through which we, we do bulk duplicating of selected views and assigning a specific view template. We use nodes to convert elements to strings. We see how to modify strings and eventually we create lists using code blocks. Using Dynamo scripts could save time avoiding tedious tasks and give accurate results when it comes to managing data. In the building information modeling, managing data unerringly is fundamental and tools such as Dynamo has been a helpful plugin to fulfill that goal. Hello everyone. As I mentioned earlier in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to duplicate bulk views and assign view templates on them. As we use Dynamo to speed up the tasks, so in this tutorial, I'm going to use Dynamo as well. And uh, we collect views to uh, actually duplicate them and assign a specific views templates. I'm going to use Dynamo 2.13.1 and you need to have a Dynamo package, a Springs, and Modelical installed. I'm going to use Revit 2023. Before we get started, I'd like to, do, to let you know, guys, that I try to publish tutorials every Sunday. Please leave comments if you have suggestions or got problems to solve. That makes me more motivated to get engaged with you. For this tutorial, I'm using Advanced Sample Project of Revit 2023. And considering bulk copy of selected views, there are some great tools out there. For example, PyRevit. If you select your views, which you want to copy, and activate duplicate selected views, it's gonna ask about the, uh, are you sure to proceed and select OK and without detailing or whatever option you want to select. All right, as you can see, uh, PyRevit is duplicating actually your views, uh, inserting a, a string like copy one in front of each uh, duplicated views. And uh, that's a little problem because you have to go to uh, rename them, rename them one by one, and assigning your view template eventually. So um, I'm gonna go a step back and uh, manage Dynamo because all these uh, procedures procedure of duplicating and assigning view template, we are going to manage that in the Dynamo script. So uh, let me open new scratch script canvas here. All right. Uh, the first thing first, we need to select our selected views. All right. There are there is a node. I'm going to ask for a spring dot collector it's it's not coming out here let me search it here collector dot current selection let's see all right now we have let me just toggle this to manual and we need a boolean. All right. So just to make sure we are selecting uh, correctly our views, let me run the script first and to see the uh, result here. I'm going to toggle this to true. And um, before run the script, you have to select uh, your views. Uh, that you wish to duplicate them. And once you run the script, 
as you can see it is collecting all the uh, views all right but there is a little problem here because uh, basically Revit collects the views based on their element ID no so here as you can see it's not in a order in my project browse browser okay so I'm gonna reorder them by list dot oops list dot reorder this should be my list and I'm gonna make a list with a with the code block and I'm gonna reorder all the uh, views based on the uh, project browser all right so this should be zero one three um four and two and we close the list here that's because for example here as you can see uh, my entry level and first level are in a correct position there they are in the correct position in my list uh, they have indexes indices zero and one but if we take a look at the site here level zero four uh, this one should goes to uh, oh, we have to change the uh, the order of the views all right so let me connect this one here and run again we should end up with the correct order of our uh, list according to our project browser as you can see level 00, zero 01 2 3 and 4 and now uh, in in order to fit the other nodes uh, of the uh, out of node uh, of Dynamo, we can grab views dot duplicate. I'm gonna with, I'm gonna go with the first one. All right. So as a matter of fact, uh, this list is our view collected views. Okay. In order to rename that, I'm gonna get. Um, element dot name let me unconnect this one disconnect this one all right and uh, I can come up with a string dot replace so basically to rename our elements, we need to convert them to the um, a string. So this element that name should work perfectly. So let me run this script. Now you can see uh, we have the uh, name of our views as a string so that we can manipulate them. So this one should be the string let's imagine that uh, i'm duplicating these views to create key plans all right so i'm gonna uh, bring up uh, bring up a code block and say let's say i'm gonna uh, grab the very first part plan view and zero of this one okay dash zero i'm gonna search for this piece of a string and i'm gonna copy this one replace it with let's say key plan and i'm gonna add l as a level in front of 
uh, in front of the in, in string here. All right. So for the duplicating, we have our views, we have our names, and as an option, it uh, it is asking whether it is uh, duplicate as a dependent or or is it or is a duplicate. So I'm gonna bring out a string, a string node, and simply say duplicate. So for the first part of this um, script, we are pretty much uh, done. Uh, now for the second part, uh, we need to assign the um, uh, view template. So I'm going to search for apply dot um, uh, view template. I think that should work. It is from the Modelico, I believe. Yes, from the Modelico package. Here, here is uh, our view and uh, the name for the template. So I'm gonna ask. Uh, I'm gonna actually name it with a code block here like it should be key plan underscore arc dash plan all right i'm gonna copy this one for now so before we um, actually run this script, let me create the actual um, view template for our uh, duplicated uh, views. So I'm going to go to view, view templates, manage view templates. Here uh, you can basically, I'm going to actually duplicate this one here and rename it as I wrote in the script, all right? And let's say the scale of this can be set to 500. And since I have duplicated the view template from the other one, I'm, uh, I'm importing all the filters. So I'm gonna actually um, uh, remove all the uh, filters from this template. And let's say as it is a key plan, I'm gonna uh, actually um, close all the annotations from this view template, all right? I'm gonna click OK. OK. Now, that's a time for running the script. All right, as you can see, we end up uh, having our views duplicated with the uh, key plan string in front of each one. And as you can see here, we have assigned the um, actually our created view template uh, assigned to them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much.